Welcome, everybody, to the Jones and the wild scene that is a blackout game here in Lubbock, Texas. Into the mayhem walk the seventh-ranked Sooners with their national championship hopes still very much on the line. Together in this particular stadium, it was an offensive explosion for the ages. Baker's got it. He's going to sling it for the end zone. Oh, mama! He's got a touchdown! Mahomes kept it himself. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Fingertip catch right in the corner of the end zone. It took every ounce of offense the Sooners had tonight, but they're going to ride out of Lubbock with a win. What a wild affair that was. Perhaps you're familiar with the two quarterbacks from that game. Baker Mayfield and Patrick Mahomes will meet in Cleveland in the NFL tomorrow. So the names have changed, but you get the idea about the offense, the two top scoring offenses in the Big 12, two top scoring offenses among the top 10. How's your statement Saturday going so far, everybody? With Brian Greasy, I'm Steve Levy. Todd McShay will join us. You might want to get comfortable. We're going to be here for a while. You might want to get your uh, touchdown call ready. <laughs> we expect a whole lot of points and some flying tortillas as well. Oklahoma is not afraid of the one loss they already have. We saw it in 15. We saw it last year. Three times in the last four years, they've got the chance to get back to the playoff where they want to be. Certainly do. And, you know, the championship teams get better as the season goes on. And the month of November for Oklahoma, that has been championship time they have not lost a game in the month of November since 2014 make no mistake Lincoln Riley thinks he has a championship football team despite losing Baker Mayfield they might be better with Kyler Murray but they want to win a national championship that's the difference and Oklahoma will be ready to play tonight we asked Lincoln Riley about that is the offense better this year and he gave a long drawn out pause Todd McShay people are making the argument they are more efficient this time around without Mayfield well, a lot of statistics will back that up and it's amazing when you lose the first overall pick in Baker Mayfield the quarterback position and you just reload Kyler Murray is the, it's the big difference they've gotten so many more explosive plays this year because of his mobility and you just see him extending plays and then when he takes off a run I would argue that he's the fastest quarterback in college football so Texas Tech certainly has its hands full tonight trying to defend Murray in this offense for the Sooners much more from Todd on the way Kyler Murray, the star quarterback for Oklahoma. The star head coach as well, Lincoln Riley. A whole lot of talk about where they might be come next year. We know where they're going to be tonight. The way that is unique, he's a very experienced quarterback. And he'll come out throwing on first down and 10. And able to complete Antoine Wesley for the game. The biggest second and short. Here's Todd on the matchups. Big Brown, the quarterback at 5'10", 182 pounds of Oklahoma. Bowman's throwing again. This time it's T.J. Vasher. Trey Brown on the coverage for Oklahoma. This week, first down and ten. Take the handoff and the throw of Wesley. His second grab of the young night, and he will try to lean ahead. First down yardage. I think he's going to be short. In the secondary, that's where this Oklahoma defense will be challenged tonight. Second and one. Bowman out to the flat. It's Vasher. His second grab, and he's got the first down. Third and seven from just across midfield. Bowman flushed to the pocket. Throwing on the run. And down the sideline, it's incomplete. Jordan Parker able to knock it away. Gets in the air, and the fair catch is called at the four-yard line. Can't say enough about Kyler Murray. Give it to Sermon. Somehow he's able to squeak through down on the nine-yard line. Texas Tech showing some pressure. Now they drop out of it. It's a fourth player late. Kyler Murray to throw. It's picked off. His first throw of the game intercepted by Vontae Dorsey. Dorsey inside the 10. And he'll be dropped inside the five-yard line. 17-yard interception return. Bowman sends Ward in motion. Bowman looking. Middle of the end zone. Wide open is TJ Vasher for the score. And the Red Raiders draw first blood. My prediction for the night is this will not be the final score. <laughs> we will see some other touchdowns tonight. 
Probably not a whole lot of field goals. Kyler Murray refuses to turn the football over, except he gets picked off here, and Alan Bowman makes him pay. 7-0, the home team. Meyer in there, in front of Trey Sermon. Murray, the option. And somehow Sermon's able to get out of that and turn a loss into a game. Now that Texas Tech defense was ready for that option. Did you see Dakota Allen there? He's playing with a, a broken hand. Keep track of that. Murray throwing. Oh, what a grab! Grant Calcaterra, a one-handed grab. There is a flag down. It's a 25-yard catch if it stands. And now multiple yellow handkerchiefs come in. During the play and one after. Personal foul, targeting, defense, number 15. That play will be under further review. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, number 74. That's his first. That'll be a 15-yard penalty from the succeeding spot. The play is under review. After further review, there is no foul for targeting. However, after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct by the offense number 74. That will be enforced from the dead ball spot. It'll be Oklahoma's ball, first and 10. First down and 10. Kyler Murray will keep it himself. Just got the play away. Good pocket for Murray. Throws it, it's intercepted again! It's picked up! And it's Monte Dorsey again, his second interception. Dorsey's still on his feet, and he'll be dropped at the 25. Monte Dorsey, what a night for Dorsey already. It's a 31-yard fumble return. We thought he would be kicked out of the game for targeting. On first down, here's Bowman throwing. Anton Wesley catching. And a tackle by Justin Broyles. And bring up second down. Talking about a field goal here either. Eight minutes to play in the first. Quick pitch to Wesley. Trying to gain the edge. And he's got first down yardage. Looking inside the red zone. Brings a running element. But he's going to throw. In the set up to Henry. To the goal line. Touchdown. First in the Big 12, they can rely on that run game. Second down and seven. Here's Murray. Going to try to do it with his legs since the arm isn't working right now. He is pounded down by Jordan Brooks. Slot, bottom of your screen. Off the play fake. Murray to throw. Lost one and it's open. Jeremiah Hall, the fullback out of the backfield. On a third down and two, go to Jeremiah Hall, his second catch of the season. It goes for 35. Well, he's got two completions and two interceptions. On the ground, Trey Sermon makes a few people miss. And he'll dance inside the 20. And finally out of bounds, see where they mark him. First down and 10 at the Texas Tech 19. Murray under pressure. Trying to get out of there. Kyler Murray, the fastest player on the field. You get an example of that. Able to turn the edge. He was just running away from Justice Parker. That kind of seemed unfair. And seven. Four wide receivers at Sermon. Murray to throw. Able to complete to Lee Morris for the touchdown. And that's how you answer back if you're the seventh ranked Sooners. 16 yards. Murray to Morris for the score. You're in the history books. And Lee Morris, I don't know if he's Chris Carter, but all he does is catch touchdown passes. 13th catch, 7th touchdown of the season. We'll have plenty of time to chit-chat about what's going on in college football. Here's Alan Bowman now. Got plenty of green in front of him. Nice touch on that pass for first down yardage. T.J. Vasher. These short throws, wouldn't be shocked to see him go down the field soon. Keep it on the ground, and daily on the ward. Got to give him at least shots down the field. Set up the screen to Ward. 
making people miss. First down yardage across midfield, and a flag comes in late. Two flags now are on the field. Personal foul. Illegal block blew the waist. Crack back. Offense number 11. He blocked back toward the original position of the ball. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. We play second down. Tazon Henry to the right of Alan Bowman. Bowman cocks and fires. Wide open across the middle of Seth Collins. His first reception of the night. When I was 18, I couldn't find my car keys. <laughs> Third and six. Bowman throws again. Finding a seam. Antoine Wesley, his sixth catch. Wide open gain of 21. Containing the first quarter. Bowman again has plenty of running room if he wanted it. There is a flag. And he'll scamper out after a pickup of, let's say, two. Had all that time. Let's see that's holding. Holding. Offense number 11. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. In midfield. Trying to set up the screen to Ward. No blockers in front of him. No problem. Daily on Ward. Able to get by some people. Sophomore from Missouri City, Texas. Second down and nine. Quick screen out to Anton Wesley. He's got first down yardage. His seventh catch of the night. We're still in the first quarter. Well, I can't tell you how impressed I am with Texas Tech offensively. That's Collins. And he's going to be dropped for a seven-yard loss. Trey Brown came up to make the stop. Down every ESPN show on the ESPN app. Start your free trial of ESPN Plus today. As we open up quarter number two, DeLeon Ward off the screen, and he's inside the 25. It's only with three safeties in the game. Only rushing three. Bowman has all sorts of time. Directing traffic. Lost one dangerously, and nearly intercepted. Trey Brown could not hang on to it. I'm not sure if he would have been able to stay in bounds anyway. Um... 42 and a half. On the way, hits the upright and goes through. That's clean living for Clayton Hatfield. They've been better offensively through the first half of the season with Kyle Murray at quarterback. Here is Murray taking off. Man, he is fast. Look at him blowing past people. And down to the 41, Ja'Shawn Johnson got him. That you, you want to run him, but you also don't want to run him too much in case he might you know, get hit or get hurt. He's only 195 pounds, maybe 5'10". Marquise Brown on the receiving end there. Second and one. I like to take a shot from the spot. But they'll put it on the ground to Kennedy Brooks. He's got first down yardage and then some inside the 30. Jordan Brooks on Kennedy Brooks there. Putting up big holes in the run game. Murray to throw, sips one in there, and Calcaterra is rocked for the second time, and it's Monte Dorsey who nailed him again. A safety that's going to hit Calcaterra. It's the second time this has happened. You start to see Calcaterra starting to look early. It's well done by Vontae Dorsey. Not hitting him in the head, but making him feel your presence. Oh, he's feeling it. That's for sure. Oklahoma trailing by 10 at the 12 of Texas Tech. Murray trying to scamper out with plenty of running room in front of him. And he makes it look easy. Kyler Murray for the rushing touchdown, his seventh of the season. 12 yards, no one touching him. When this pocket starts to collapse, Jordan Brooks goes outside, and Kyler Murray goes inside, and that's all it takes. All it takes is, is half of a gap, and if you're out of position, he did the same thing to Texas at the end of that game. It went 60 yards for a touchdown. He just has that kind of explosiveness. I wonder if Murray was inspired because while we were in commercial, they brought out the Red Raiders baseball team. He says, I, don't, I haven't talked with him about it. We'll handle that after the season. First down and 10. In a 17-14 game, Wesley climbs the ladder to make the play. Antoine Wesley with his eighth catch already of the night. Third cross midfield game. We're seeing a whole lot tonight. We've got some 12 minutes left in the half. Trying to set up the screen to Ward. This has been effective for the Red Raiders. And it is again down the sideline. Able to beat one man, DeLeon Ward, to the house. It's 45 off the screen. And Texas Tech will add to their lead. Some might say 
A whole lot of coaches think Oklahoma's offensive line, they get away with more than most. Here's Kylan Murray. Zips one in across the middle to the 30. And it's Marquise Brown as first down yardage. Early in the game, and he's, he's borderline. Murray to throw. Able to complete Lee Morris. The pass was behind him, and Morris able to adjust, readjust himself, and make the grab. That's very difficult to defend. Gain of 21 there. Here's Murray to throw again the far side. It's Marquise Brown. He's going to be short of the marker to bring up a third down and short. Something else. That's on Ben Ball, too, to talk to him, his offensive line coach. Second down and one. They got plenty from Trey Sermon. It is Sermon on the ground. There's plenty of running room. He's shifty. Trey Sermon still on his feet and finally knocked out at the five-yard line. This week to a broken leg. They're down to three backs on the entire team. First down and goal. Here's Sermon out of the wildcat. Took the snap and scores. Trey Sermon and bows to the public. see the uh, comparison with his Oklahoma offense from last year to this year. Last year's was record setting and Baker Mayfield you know, set the efficiency record for passing. But you could make the argument that this offense is more explosive. They are more explosive. You would expect. Seven consecutive possessions with points in this game. Bowman a loft one down the field. Jump ball. Vasher went up for it. There's a flag. Robert Barnes had the coverage. It won't be the first one. Defense, number 20. 15 yards from the previous spot. An automatic first down. Stop. Demarcus Felton is the ball carrier. Got a lot of young players he's trying to group. Demarcus Felton. See, that's a backward pass in a live football. Felton's able to recover it. That could have been disastrous for Texas Tech. Football from a backward pass is under further review. Looks like he's on about the 36 yard line. The ball is on the, about the 36. Let's see where Felton touches this ball. Oh, no, that was a that's forward, forward pass. Yeah. And again, Felton had recovered it anyway, so it's just where they spot the ball. Kenneth Murray a little bit. He leads the team in sacks from his linebacker position. Seth Collins in motion in the slot now. Here's Alan Bowman under some pressure. And he will just throw that one away. A defensive stop, Steve. Yes. And it takes a bounce. Let's see. Let's see. I think that's going to go for the touchback. Let's see. Well, I got it. it to him, yeah. Line. Now they're discussing it. Starting from the one. Trey Sermon trying to get some breathing room, and he does. That's a huge play on first down. They've had some rough starting field position. And yet they're only trailing by three. Here's Sermon with some running room. In the football game, top of your screen. Let's see if Murray's looking for him again. Deep shot down the sideline for Marquise Brown. Looking around and a catch. Officials get together and confirm. The call on the field is a grab for flying. Wow, this was tight coverage. It looked like his right foot was out of bounds. See where he possesses the ball there. Yeah, clearly that's out of bounds. A ruling on the field. Unbelievable play by him. Just comes down a little bit outside on the white. Adrian Fry, redshirt freshman from Houston, running with him step for step. You can see the field judge there. The field judge has a difficult assignment. He's got to watch to see when he controls that ball. See his eyes looking at the ball, Steve, and then he goes down to his feet, and he just was a little bit late. It happens so fast, and that job for the official is so hard. He's in great position. It's almost impossible to see both at the same time. And that's why he was looking for some help. 
from his teammate in the stripes. Yeah, you see his eyes. He's looking at the ball and then down to the feet. And that's a really good look at how difficult it is to be an official in college football. Randy Smith is the field judge. The, the comebacks and the outs, and he's added those things to his repertoire. And if he can continue to catch the ball consistently like he has, he's going to be a high draft pick. I think that left toe comes up when he finally has possession of the ball. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. It's a catch for Stanley. Yeah, I don't agree with that. So it stands. Yeah. Stands is like the key word there. He controlled that ball after that left foot came up, you know. Oklahoma trailing by three. Murray to throw. Sideline for Sermon out of the backfield. The flags come in. There are two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Pass interference, number 20, is the climb. Personal foul, hands in the face. Number 96 will be enforced 15 yards from the previous spot, an automatic first down. Option for Sermon. The low of the shoulder, taken down inside the 10. Vontae Dorsey, first to hit him after the gain of 12. Snap it with six. Murray throwing for Carson Meyer, the fullback, for the touchdown. And Oklahoma has their first lead of the game. That's a 99-yard drive. How do you like me now? Wow, what a game. Now they get it to Meyer. Here he is right here, and that's Rico Jeffers in man-to-man -man coverage. And he tries to get a jam on him, and just misses. And that's the easiest touchdown throw of the season for Kyler Murray. So it's safe to say Kyler has bounced back in a, in a big way. Listen, we knew that this that they're going to score points, right? We knew that Texas Tech defensively isn't lighting the world on fire. Uh, but, you know, if, if you would have told Cliff Kingsbury that, listen, you're going to be in this game 28-24 right before halftime, I think he would have taken that. Throwing two interceptions himself tonight. Here's Alan Bowman. When he rolls, he rolls to his right. And he's able to complete the T.J. Vasher. Head to head, whoever wins that game might give Tua a run for his money. It's an eight-yard gain of the fifth catch by Vasher. And that's Antoine Wesley, who has nine catches. And that'll put him over 100 yards receiving tonight. The time of possession. There's Bowman to throw. And complete. It's Vasher again. Texas Tech has rushed the football just six times tonight, and that was one of the issues. They, they can't get the running game going. Football, they're, they're doing it with success, and that's why he wanted to do it here. Attack. Out of the backfield, it's Ward. Bring up a second down at about four. Henry and Ward in there at the same time, maybe for the first time tonight. And on the ground, it's Ward. He'll just get back to the line of scrimmage. Curtis Bolton came up to make the stop. Taking their sweet time. Hand off Ward to the outside. Down the sideline. DeLeon Ward. Needed only four yards. And he rips off 28. It's down, but you're going to take some time off the clock. Here's Bowman. Banged out at the one-yard line by Curtis Bolton. Minute Alan, six left. Yeah, Alan Bowman took a big shot. You know, a month ago, he took a big shot in the West Virginia game, and he had a collapsed lung, and he in the end zone, and Bolton came over and hit him right in the side. Take your breath away. Bowman's been throwing really the first shot he's taken. No Jet Duffy here. Bit of a high snap. Bowman a loft one. His receiver slipped down. Vasher slipped down, and it was intercepted by Parnell Motley. There is a flag down. And we'll see if Vasher just slipped down or he had some help. Turned back and made a play on the Passing ball. Defense, defense number 11. A foul occurred in the end zone. By rule of the ball will be placed at the two yard line. First and goal. The question is, did he make contact with Vasher when that ball was in the air? You see both of them there. He turns around. He just slips, Grease. It looked like he just slipped. I don't think that Motley pushed off there. The ball was snapped at the two-yard line. 
therefore wow. we will enforce half the distance to the goal to the one first and goal. First down and goal. Pitch to Ward. Plenty of running room. He's in for the touchdown. Red Raiders go back on top. First time in Jim Harbaugh. See how Lincoln Riley plays this. Under a minute, only one timeout. Here's Kyler Murray. And he'll slide down out beyond the 40. Again, they only have one timeout remaining. Delay game yeah. penalties. They'd like to have those yeah. timeouts back here. Murray throwing. Sideline. And completing to Marquise Brown for a short game. Murray to throw. Has a clean pocket. Tips one in across the middle. And it's Lee Morris, and he has the first down. Well, you know David Gibbs is going to be soft and just try to keep things in front of him, so he's basically giving you a field goal. Murray, take a shot down the sideline. C.D. Lamb couldn't haul it in. He looks around for a flag. Third and seven. Murray flings one. No chance for Miles Tease. Justice Parker. Taking a lot of time, Murray across the middle, and it's dropped by Carson Meyer. Meyer has a touchdown catch earlier, can't hang on to that one, and they'll turn it over on downs. Three, Oklahoma will get the football to start the second half. Here's Todd. Coach, obviously a lot of frustration there. What's going on with the conversations with the refs? Uh, you know, we've had some tough calls go against us. You know, it's part of playing on the road. We turned it over early, gave them some momentum, but give our team credit. We fought back, and we're going to settle in and play better second half. 31 points allowed. How do you get that change in the second half? Well, the biggest problem was turning it over and giving them two, two cheap ones right there. So uh, we got to settle back in. we got to get them on the ground and finish place. Appreciate it, Coach.